hello friends this is a continuation of video previously that i made on brachial plexus here we are going to talk about the clinical significance of brachial plexus injuries now the clinical relevance related to brachial plexus is here are uh, we'll talk about the four conditions the first one is Earth's palsy also known as waiter tip the second is clumpe concave palsy also known as claw hand <coughs> now um horse palsy uh, as uh, e comes first then k and in brachial plexus upper tongue is uh, comes first then the lower tongue so its palsy is due to the injury in the upper trunk and clumpkate's palsy is due to injury in the lower trunk <clears throat> and its palsy uh, and the injury in the upper trunk is, uh, is ma mainly due to uh, the lateral uh, the lateral traction of neck during delivery during delivery uh, if there is increase in the angle between the neck and shoulder uh, while uh, delivering the baby for vaginal then uh, there may result into the injury in the upper trunk and clump case palsy uh, results due to the uh, upward force on arm during delivery or when somebody falls from height and tries to that is when someone falls from tree and during the course of falling if he catches the trunk with single end then it results in the traction and resulting into injury in the lower trunk the thought condition is long thoracic nerve injury for this mnemonic is s a l t that is serratus anterior muscle is supplied by long thoracic nerve long thoracic serratus anterior and the nerve value nerve root value is <coughs> c5 to c7 That is, if uh, the long thoracic nerve is injured, uh, then uh, there is a paralysis in serratus anterior muscle, and the person cannot uh, abduct his uh, arm beyond 100 degree. That is, beyond horizontal, he cannot uh, take his arm upward, and, and there is result. This results into winging of scapula. And the high yield cohesion that is frequently asked in exam related to long thoracic nerve is if a female undergoes uh, axillary node dissection for after mastectomy, then uh, the common condition uh, or the common nerve that is injured is long thoracic nerve, which results into the serratus anterior paralysis. The fourth condition is thoracic. Outlet syndrome. It is due to uh, compression of lower trunk and subclavian vessels. And the condition that uh, results in the compression of uh, Condition that is uh, in the compression of lower trunk and subcavian vessels are uh, the cervical nerve. Pancos tumor. Etc. And this concludes my uh, this video on brachial plexus and some clinical events related to it. I hope it helps you. 
to easily remember the bracket flexors and some clinical features. See you on next video. Thank you.